Keynes and I am 16 years old. I don't care what you think, Professor. I came here as a favour at your personal request. Perhaps I should not have done so. What gives you the right? Yes, to speak to a woman in your private. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You feel yourself empowered. You say so yourself. To strut, to posture, to perform, to call me in here, eh? You say that higher education is a joke and you treat it as such. And confess to a taste to play the patriarch of your class. To grant this, to deny that, to embrace your students. How can you deny that? You did it to me. Here, you did. You confess. You love the power to deviate, to invent, to transgress. To transgress whatever norms have been established for us. And then you think it's charming to question in yourself this taste to mock and destroy? But you should question it, Professor. And you pick those things which you feel advance you. The publication, tenure, and the steps to get them you call harmless rituals. And you perform these steps, although you say it's hypocrisy. But to the aspirations of your students, of hard-working students who come here, who slave to come here, you have no idea what it cost me to come to this school. You mock us. You call education hazing, and from your so protected, so elitist seat, you hold our confusion as a joke, and our hopes never with it. And then, you sit there and say, what have I done? And expect me to understand that you have aspirations too? But I tell you, I tell you that you are vile and you're exploitative. And if you possess one ounce of that inner honesty you describe in your book, then you can look inside yourself and see those things that I see. And you can find revulsion equal to my own. Good day. Thank you.